Meet Medusa, a prominent figure in Greek mythology, whose true essence has often been misunderstood. When we hear the name Medusa, we imagine a dreadful and wicked monster. However, her story is more complex than that. Medusa was born on the island of Sarpedon, and she was the daughter of Phorcys and Ceto, ancient sea deities in Greek mythology. Unlike her sisters, Medusa was mortal, making her subject to the laws of nature and the whims of God. But who exactly was this intriguing figure? And how did she become known as a villain? Once upon a time, there was a stunning young woman named Medusa, whose beauty was renowned throughout the land. Many men were captivated by her enchanting charm. But she chose a different path. Medusa decided to dedicate herself to the goddess Athena, becoming one of her priestesses and embracing a life of celibacy, shunning any romantic pursuits. Life at the temple brought a sense of tranquility for Medusa. Though her beauty stirred a tinge of envy even in the heart of goddess Athena. However, things took an unexpected turn when the mighty god Poseidon set his eyes upon Medusa and the course of her life was forever altered. In the realm of mythology, the tale of Medusa and Poseidon unfolds with various interpretations. Some say that Poseidon was irresistibly drawn to the exceptional beauty of Medusa, while others speculate that he saw her as a means to challenge his rival Athena. Perhaps it was a mix of both. According to different versions of the story, some claim that Medusa fell in love with Poseidon and chose to abandon her devotion to Athena. In contrast, the more widespread account maintains that Medusa remained steadfastly loyal to the goddess but was tragically taken by Poseidon without her consent. In either scenario, the distressing climax involves Poseidon's ravaging of Medusa inside the sacred temple of Athena. Overwhelmed by the traumatic events, Medusa turns to Athena seeking solace and support. The details may vary, but the essence of Medusa's anguish and her plea for Athena's aid remains a constant thread in this compelling myth. In the most common version of the tale, poor Medusa finds herself as the innocent victim of a tragic series of events. Despite her vulnerability and being violated within Athena's temple, the goddess reacts with anger and blame towards Medusa. Athena, in her divine coldness, condemns her former priestess for no longer being a virgin. In an act of utter harshness only a god could carry out, Athena punished Medusa by transforming her into a fearsome monster. Now, Medusa possesses bronze hands, wings, and her once beautiful hair becomes a nest of venomous snakes. With a heart-wrenching power, she can turn anyone who meets her gaze into stone, a deadly ability that becomes a curse, condemning her to everlasting loneliness. Feeling betrayed by Poseidon and deeply hurt by the injustice of her fate, Medusa retreats to the island of Sarpedon, where she struggles to make sense of the overwhelming burden placed upon her. As time passes, Medusa's inner nature aligns with her monster's appearance. Once admired for her beauty, she is now hunted as a prized trophy by men. This relentless mistreatment fuels her hatred, and transformation becomes a reflection of her inner turmoil. She retaliates fiercely, striking down all who attempt to harm her, earning an immense reputation and a legendary status. But her life takes a pivotal turn when a hero named Perseus emerges. He stands apart from the others, bearing divine assistance due to his lineage. Being the son of Zeus grants him the ability to seek direct aid from the gods in his quest to defeat Medusa. From Athena, he obtains a mirrored bronze shield. Harms gives him with winged sandals. 
Hephaestus presents him with a mighty sword, and finally hates grants him a helm of invisibility. Armed with these divine gifts, Perseus embarks on a fateful mission to claim the head of Medusa, forever changing the course of her tale. With the divine gifts in hand, Perseus enters Medusa's lair. To avoid meeting her gaze directly, he cleverly uses the mirrored shield to see her reflection. With this strategy, he successfully defeats Medusa, beheading her with the mighty sword gifted to him. To his astonishment, as her head is severed, two fully formed beings emerge from her body. The famous pure white-winged stallion of Greek mythology, soaring into the skies. The second is Chrysor, a man born with a golden sword in his hand. As Perseus attempts to escape the island, he is discovered by Medusa's grieving sisters, whose cries echo far and wide. They fervently pursue him, but he manages to slip away, clutching the petrifying head of Medusa, which still retains its power even when separated from her body. Eventually, Perseus returns the head of Medusa to Athena, completing the circle of injustice. The goddess fixes it to her shield, now known as the Aegis. In a peculiar twist, Medusa's head on the shield becomes a symbol of protection, defending those in need. Despite being widely known, Medusa remains deeply misunderstood. In the most common version of the story, her sole crime was unwavering loyalty to the gods, who often exhibited their own disregard for the moral codes they imposed on their followers. This myth offers various interpretations that hold relevance even in our modern world. Clearly, the legend of Medusa, where beauty and innocence turn to anger and hate, continues to captivate the imaginations of thinkers, artists, and scholars alike. Its timeless appeal will endure for years to come. So friends, that's all for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe our channel, Palette of the Past. Thank you.